now I'm showing you how to do the forest wrap on the shoulder. And the purpose of it is to stabilize and immobilize the shoulder. And all you need is an ace bandage. First, you just stabilize the arm and wrap the ace bandage around twice. Put the arm against the body, upright angle. Take it around the neck, under the armpit. Making sure your fingers are out and that it's snug around the elbow. Not too tight. And then you can either tuck it in the back or use uh, white tape to secure it. And then at the end you check your refill, capillary refill and to make sure they're not going to fall out. I'm going to show you how to custom fit a mouth guard. And mouth guards are used to protect your teeth from dislocations and fractures and help decrease impact from uh, concussions. All you need is boiling water in a pot or you can use a microwave and filled with water and you put the mouthpiece in the water for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds you pull it out and with a cup of cold water you stick it in for three to five more seconds and take it out and then remove the mouth guard and line it up with your teeth. Do not bite the mouth guard into place but lightly close your mouth so that your teeth come into contact with the mouth guard. Close your mouth, suck hard on the mouth guard, pull your lips together, move them around, and push the tongue to the roof of your mouth until it is molded into the shape of your upper teeth. Wait for one minute. Leave your mouth guard in for a total of two minutes. You then continue to leave the mouth guard in, or you can remove it to leave in the cold water for five minutes. Then take it out and check for a final check. Today I'm going to show you how to do a uh, closed basket weave ankle tape job. It, the purpose of a closed basket weave ankle tape job is to provide support, uh, moderate support for um, the tallow curl joint and the sub uh, tallow joint, as well as to reduce range of motion, it is also used to prevent and treat inversion and aversion ankle sprains. We're using pre wrap, not a uh, one and a half inch, uh, non elastic tape, uh, adhesive spray, and heel and lace pads. First, I'm going to place the heel and uh, pre wrap sticks. Then I'm going to wrap, pre-wrap, around If it rolls at all, then rip it off so it doesn't, uh, so it doesn't flat, uh, make blisters. And you roll the pre-wrap all the way up to the start of the soleus and the gastric venus. Then for the first anchor, you put right place, half on the pre-wrap and half on the other tape. Then you place one right here, the foot. Then you do... Um, The stirrup, which is providing, uh, trying try to prevent and treat uh, inversion and aversion sprains. 
then you place the horseshoe, which is to stop blisters. And you're going to do three of each. Then you're going to do Helox, which is going to reduce the range of motion and uh, provide moderate support for the sub talar and the sub, uh, no, the talar curl joint. And after you do that, you are going to clean it up at the bottom and the top. And that's how you do a closed bass weave ankle type job. For this demonstration, I will be showing how to apply a donut. You will need felt or foam, uh, self adhesive gauze, and power flip. This is used for painful areas such as blisters or calluses to take the pressure off of it. So first, you will put it on the painful area. And you will tape it. You don't have to put the power flex if you don't want to, but it will help hold it. So, sit up. Then you'll do about two heel locks. you do a donut.